हेलो एवरीवन माय सेल्फ प्रभा फ्रॉम डॉक्टर हरि सिंह गौर यूनिवर्सिटी सागर मध्य प्रदेश टुडे आई एम हियर टू गिव अ प्रेजेंटेशन ऑन माय टॉपिक दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन दीज आर माय कंटेंट्स व्हिच वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन व्हिच इंक्लूड्स प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर सेकेंडरी स्ट्रक्चर टर्शरी स्ट्रक्चर एंड क्वार्टरनरी स्ट्रक्चर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट एज वी ऑल नो दैट प्रोटीन्स आर एन इम्पॉर्टेंट क्लास ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल मैक्रोमोलिक्यूल्स विच आर हेट्रोपोलिमर्स कंटेनिंग स्ट्रिंग्स ऑफ एमिनो एसिड दे कंस्टिट्यूट द फंडामेंटल बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर एंड फंक्शन ऑफ लाइफ इन एटीन थर्टी नाइन द डच केमिस्ट जी जे मुल्डर वॉज फर्स्ट टू डिस्क्राइब अबाउट प्रोटीन्स द टर्म प्रोटीन इज डिराइव फ्रॉम अ ग्रीक वर्ड प्रोटीओज विच मीन्स द फर्स्ट प्लेस प्रोटीन्स हैव अ डिफरेंट लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दीज आर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द प्रोटीन्स लेट एस स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द प्राइमरी स्ट्रक्चर The primary structure of protein refers to the sequence of amino acid present in the polypeptide chain. Amino acids are covalently linked by peptide bond. Each component of amino acid in a polypeptide is called as a residue. By convention, the primary structure of protein starts from the amino terminal and ends in the carbonyl terminal C end. Secondary structure: the localized arrangement of adjacent amino acid formed as the polypeptide chain folds. these are mainly formed through hydrogen bond between the backbone atoms pauling and cori study the secondary structure and propose two conformation which includes alpha helix and beta sheets alpha helix alpha helix are right hand spiral structure these are tightly packed coiled polypeptide backbone core the side chain extend outward these are stabilized by h bond between the carbonyl oxygen and amide hydrogen the amino acid per turn is 3.6 and the ph is 5.4 angstrom alpha helical segments are found in many globular protein like myoglobin troponin c etc the beta pleated sheets these are formed when two or more polypeptide line up side by side the individual polypeptide is called beta strand each beta strand is fully extended these are stabilized by h bond between nh and carbonyl groups of adjacent chain there are two types of beta pleated sheets which are parallel sheets and anti parallel sheets these are the examples of secondary structure of protein tertiary structure the tertiary structure is the three dimensional conformation of a polypeptide the common feature of a protein tertiary structure reveal much about the biological function of the protein and their evolutionary origins the function of protein depends on its tertiary structure if this is disrupted it loses its activity the interaction involving to stabilize a tertiary structure includes the hydrogen bond ionic bond disulfide bridge and hydrophobic interaction and at last let us discuss about quaternary structure the biological function of some molecule is determined by multiple polypeptide chains which are called multimeric proteins arrangement of polypeptide subunit is called quaternary structure the subunits are held together by non covalent interaction and the example is hemoglobin which has a subunit composition a to b2 and at last thank you for giving your precious time to listen my presentation thanks a lot